everybody, my name is Steven, and I'm watching the Ontario Rain take on the San Diego Bulls, and you guys are watching Post to Post. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. I'm here with Mark Mathot, a.k.a. Chris. We're here to look at some Western States Hockey League logos. There's 24, and uh, I've ranked them 24 to 1, my least favorite to favorite. Uh, you're a bit of a graphic designer, and so this is a probably a good video for you to come on. Usually I have Dad on sure. here who is artistically illiterate, but... Uh, Colorblind. <laughs> well, yeah. But that's tough. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, you're a good you're a good guy to come on here for this video. So thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Thanks for and, having uh, me. Let's see. You've never seen any of these logos before. I've ne so no, I sure have not. Total first impression from you here. So, yes. Uh, this is going to be interesting. So we're going from your least favorite to your favorite. My least favorite to my okay, favorite. Okay, this so is your least favorite. This is the uh, Utah. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's Utah. So outliers. Yeah. Yeah. Outliers. So how do you feel about this logo? Um, it, creative with the little hockey stick separating the O. It is. Uh, but but I had no idea what it was. It would, it, you it, you wouldn't think hockey. Not really. No, it's it's, no. it's. I mean, I because I know it's a hockey logo. I know that that hockey stick that's separating the top and lower is mm -hmm. kind of cool. But that's it. How do you feel I can about see the... why it's twenty fourth <laughs> yeah. in your list. How do you feel about the gradient? Looks a little cheap, I think. Mm, yeah. A little early 90s. All right, 23. I've got the West Sound Warriors. What's this remind you of? I'm wondering if you have the, if you have the same impression that I had when I first looked at this. A dog's breakfast. A dog's breakfast? You know, it's just all in the, in the bowl and looking like a mess. Okay. Yeah. No, I, no, I don't see... I saw early 90s wrestling. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Do you see that a little bit? You know what my issue is? I'm really having a hard time with the West sound completely in, a, in the wrong uh, typeface at the top. Yeah, but, yeah, this I, I understand what you're saying. It's not. Yeah, so, yeah. That, I'm tripping over it. You're I'm tripping? Tripping. Dang. All right, let's yeah. move on. Okay, yes. Number 22. This is the, oh, man, these names. Cheyenne Stampede. Yeah. Uh, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. I'm not familiar with I any of these right. places yet. Uh, how do you feel about this? I feel like they drew half of it and then mirrored it, and uh, for that reason, I'm out. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, that's a that's a good point. So it's the the mouth is the mouth on the the main uh, bull or bison or whatever buffalo thing that is. Uh, that's the only thing that's not mirrored. But you're right; everything else is uh, pretty much mirrored. completely mirrored. Yeah. And now I take a closer look. There are three of them. Yeah, it's just getting it, worse. When you look from a distance, it <laughs> looks it like was one. It, I thought it was it. His wide stance. Wide stance. Yeah, no, three. He was ready to stampede. <laughs> Twenty-one. This is the Seattle Totems. Uh, that part of North America has a lot of history and and stuff. So this logo does make sense for the team, uh, but I just wasn't a fan of. Uh, it's just like when you see. In my experience, when I see a totem or pictures or illustrations, they're all kind of like different colors and stuff going on. Mm. I mean, I don't ever remember seeing a, a totem that was all one color. And I understand what they're trying to do and keep it consistent and stuff, but uh, it, I don't like the one color thing. And it also feels just a little bit busy, but I'm not sure how you'd make a totem that didn't look busy. So you can't really blame them for that, but just not a fan of this. It's the Seattle totems. Yeah. And this is a hockey logo. Yeah. Hmm. Not feeling it? <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Let's move on. Number 20, the uh, Ontario Avalanche. This logo is not too, too bad. It's uh, It feels a bit out of place with that generic sp splash artwork. Oh, the, the grunge splash the, Yeah, the grunge the splash. Yeah, because yeah. it's, a... it's totally how... Are. Yeah, that completely ruins yeah. it for me. Um, I like it. Other than that, other than that, little the, the typeface yeah. is good. The, Puck in there, and, yeah. I don't know. And you know what? I I lived in Ontario for a while. Is this Ontario, Canada, or is Ontario? No, I think this is Ontario, California. But I could, could be mistaken. I don't know. Okay, so let's either or. Um, not a lot of avalanches happen in. No, maybe it's Ontario, in maybe it's Canada. in Colorado. But 
Is it in Ontario and Colorado? I don't know. There's like there's like a the town Springfield. There's like 75 Springfields in the United States. So I have no idea where. I probably should have looked it up. But I'm a monkey, and I just look at the the artwork and the logos. So this isn't an education. We need video. something a little more in depth here, so I could really pass judgment on on the name and the mountains. Dallas Snipers. Dallas Snipers. Huh? <laughs> sure. This uh, feels a bit. You got crosshairs. Well, yeah, you can see the crosshairs, but it feels a bit like... Neat. Wasn't JFK shot in Dallas? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he was. I could be wrong. I'm not very good with my U.S. history. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to hazard a guess. Like, that, to me, this, Houston. Like that's the first thing I thought of when I looked at that. But, really? Uh, I don't know. I just... Uh, there's lots of guns in, in Texas, so I guess it makes sense, but... Uh, and... The term snipe is a hockey term, so it, that does make sense, but that's not the first thing I thought of. But You know what? Anyways. In in the show I'm watching that has a couple of hockey guys in it, uh, Litter Kenny. Oh, yes. Yeah, snipers. Hot chicks yeah. in the hot chicks Sweet in the snipe, stands. Sweet bro. Yeah. Hot chicks in the stands. Oh, sniper, dude. <laughs> 18. The <laughs> Phoenix Knights. It's been working out. He that's has, a yeah. big night. He's uh, he's beefy. Been working out. I love the colors. I love when they, when teams put purple in, in logos. I like that a lot. Mm. Uh, purple and silver looks good together. Just that giant K and the S kind of yeah. ruin it for me. But it's cool. Yeah, it's I not like bad. It. Yeah. <laughs> Number seventeen, <laughs> El Paso Rhinos. How do you feel about this? He looks like an upset rhino, slightly upset, like somebody took his parking spot. Or part of his chin, like his like his mouth doesn't look formed right, yeah. like the chin part. I don't know. He's got. I don't want to be offensive. It's not. I don't want like if it's like an eight year old boy drew that. I don't want him sad. Oh no, I think that's. I got. I think it's an okay drawing. I just think it's. He's got a goofy, missing. He just chin or something. Like I, he, I get it. I get it. He's just kind of like it's just like he went to pull into that parking spot. Somebody took it from him. And he went. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's got no text, which I love. So points for that. Number sixteen, the Bellingham Blazers. Actually, this is a bit clever. The flames make the B, but their B is also there because of the the letter in the background, the B. Uh, but it is just a bit one dimensional, a bit plain, I guess. I like it. Yeah, it's it's not like bad. It. They they took a B and they made it kind of say Blazers without it, mm. you know, with saying. I like yep, it. It's it makes good. sense. Yep. Uh, sorry, this is number 15, the Oklahoma City Blazers. I didn't realize that there was two teams called the Blazers. But, mm. uh, how do you feel about this Blazers logo? You know what? This feels more like an automotive logo. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah I like, see that. Like, yeah, stock car, NASCAR racing, some kind of automotive thing. Looks like a wheel on fire. Yeah. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... No, but uh, it's yeah. supposed to be a puck, I assume. Yeah. And it, yeah. Number 14, the Fresno yeah, Monsters. Cool. Yeah, it's it's simple. Yeah. The colors like are great. Yeah, the claws. It's cool. Yeah. Nothing, I don't have any bad thing say. kind of thing. Mm, totally. Big talons. Uh, number 13, the Idaho Ice Cats. Wow, that looks familiar. Really? Yeah. I think maybe one of our local, uh, one of our local minor hockey players really? are using a very similar logo. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. I wonder if there's any copyright stuff going. Oh, on absolutely. There. North River uses the Calgary Flames uh, horse head. Mm, they may have gotten like when I played minor hockey, we used the Calgary Hitman logo. I don't know if you've ever seen it. No. We had to get permission to use it from the team. Interesting. Yeah. Totally. I'm sure they had no problem with that. They didn't at all. No. Yeah, no, they loved it. But, yeah. but I guess when you grant that kind of flexibility, you're kind of saying it can be on all that team's mm -hmm. jerseys and in the arena. Yep. And um, Well, in the shows. early 90s, the hockey leagues in uh, England just used NHL logos. And it was a huge issue. There was, like, lawsuits and everything. And now they obviously can't use those, but... Copyright was a big thing, and it still apparently could be with this logo. I'm not sure. I've never seen it. It looks similar. Yeah. But I, similar. I, I do like it. It's, I like it. Uh, yeah, the cat's back, cool. Back on topic. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> blue nose, blue tongue, kind of weird, but Silver it and blue. is cold. It is cold. Silver so and blue look it. really good yeah, together. Yeah. They do. A little off topic there. But. Number 12, uh, Southern Oregon Spartans. Not bad. Uh, it's got a kind of rigid, mean feeling. Not a huge fan of Buddy's teeth. 
he looks almost de- dead or something, but uh, I like his dead eyes. <laughs> uh, the sharpness of the of the font with the little pieces missing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the colors, but uh, I, I like Islanders it. Islanders colors. P.E.I. P.E.I. Oh, P.E.I. Islanders. I thought you were New York Islanders, yeah. No. Vegas so Golden Knights colors, too, a little bit. Right. Mm, yeah. You can see. There, I mm-hmm. guess. Uh, number 11, the Valencia Flyers. Real classic looking it logo. It totally is, yeah. Like a 50s diner like kind it. of, yeah. I like the color palette. The font is super unique. like that a lot. Uh, like the logo, the colors blue and yellow look really good together. Yep. Thumbs up. Number 10, the Oregon Must, or, no, sorry. The, what? Ogden Mustangs? Ogden Mustangs? I don't know. I, never heard of the place. Uh, how do you feel about this? That guy's really going to get back at whoever took his parking spot. Yeah, or the mm. puck from him. Or the puck, maybe, yeah. Yeah, but uh, no text. I like that a lot. Uh, colors, it feels a bit bland. Just kind of a gray and black and white. Would have liked to see some more Is colors Is black there. or that was blue? Hmm. I still think mm. it's blue. Really? Maybe it's just all that blue coming off your... Maybe. Could be a dark, dark. Leafsters. If it is a blue, it's a dark, dark, dark blue. Dark, but, dark, dark blue. Yeah, three darks. Yeah. Three darks, very dark. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a good drawing. Black. Good. Number nine, the Colorado Junior Eagles... Uh, kind of one of those kind of classic feeling logos as well. again. Yeah, uh, it's like an eighties kind. Of. Yeah, and I and I like that. You got the mountain ranger at the bottom, just a subtle, mm. like the eagle to make sense. The colors look good. Uh, yeah, I like this logo. Number eight, San Diego Sabers. So there's a lot of things going on with this logo that I think is very, pretty promising. There's one thing I'm going to make a complaint about, but uh, cats. You see cats in logos all over the world i don't know what it is about the obsession with felines but it's, it's everywhere so this saber is looking pretty mean he looks a he looks a little cartoonish but uh, mm-hmm. he still looks pretty cool i guess with the big teeth he's got the hockey stick there which is awesome the font's unique the only thing i don't like is the tape on the stick it's the same color as the stick which you never see i don't think i've never seen it like that's not true i've seen a couple of players in the nhl use the same color stick tape as their stick. But generally, the tape is a different color. Hmm. I... <laughs> you don't care. Personal <laughs> preference, that Sabre prefers gray tape. Yes, he does. I'm, I'm cool with it. A little cartoonish, though. Yeah, a little cartoonish. Yeah, that's it. Number seven, the Casper Coyotes. Man, that looks a whole lot like that Mustang one that we did earlier. It's same oh, kind of yeah, curve and yeah. everything. They just swapped mm. out a, a coyote for... A, I can see that. Yeah. So, so they've used the Arizona Coyotes logo. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the logo. No. Probably not. Uh, so it's it is similar. Um, not, not a good the, team. Not the best drawing. Yeah, that's all. That's the only thing you know. <laughs> not a good team. <laughs> <laughs> not the best drawing. I think it could have, have a, had a little bit more dimension and shading or something. Yeah, yeah, it looks a little flat. Uh, otherwise, I, I do still really like it. Number six, the Wichita Junior Thunder. Uh, I get the play so, on the... Thor. Is Thor. Yeah. yeah, they I think they've. I think there's an ECHL team or something else that they've taken this logo from, and it's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, they just added Junior Wichita. Wow. Or just Junior, maybe. Creative. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a. It happens. It's a cool looking logo. It's yeah. to- totally unique. Looks more like a meat tenderizer. Than... <laughs> it does look like yeah, a meat tenderizer. Look, meat tenderizer. The Junior Wichita Either way. meat tenderizers. <laughs> Either way, I'd be I'd be nervous. Yeah. Uh, for this. If, yeah, Superior Rough Riders. Pretty awesome logo here. Got the horse that's looking pretty mean. Uh, the green mane on him and, and the stuff uh, is obviously not realistic, but uh, the color play is pretty good. I think green and and uh, silver and white go pretty good together. Yeah, so, uh, good job. Yeah, I like this one. Solid choice for number four. Unique font, too. Mm-hmm. Cool. Number three, and there's some bias in, that's not a word. There's some biased opinions here in this this one. Uh, Springfield Express, I like trains. I like uh, any form of transportation, and what I uh, love about this train... Uh, d- d- man! Makes escape. Whoever made this is incredible. I know, it's so smart. It makes escape. Wow, gate. it makes escape as a train. Yeah, you win. Yeah, you win. It's How awesome. is this three? I can't wait to see two and one well, now. You'll, you'll see why. Oh, um, man. And also the... the yes, the crosses yes, the X, all of it. It's great. Yeah, it's great colors, too. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Number two, the Lake Tahoe. 
No Ice text, Man. you love it. Yeah, and it's the no texting that really gets me. I just love the detail and the the, the colors especially. It's mean, it's simple. You know exactly what it is. It's There's no playing around. I like it a lot. I think it would yeah. look great on a jersey. Cool. Number one, the uh, Long Beach Bombers. <laughs> aviation. It's got, like, anytime there's aviation in a logo, it's pretty much going to be first on my list. Uh, but even just in general, this is a really cool logo. Uh, you got the beach stuff there in the background, the palm trees, the sun. Uh, the colors are awesome. The blue and the gray. It's it's pretty cool. It's cool. The puck in there. The, uh, yep. there's, I don't know what Wish the Wish it was is. a little more color. Yeah, I, a little blue. bit more color. Yeah, I can see that. But Yeah, so I assume your first was the... Oh, my guys. first by far is yeah. is that that's just that's just a whole bunch of cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So that wraps it up. So thanks, guys, for watching. Chris, thanks uh, for joining me. For thanks this. for having me. We're about to film some more, so hope you guys can stick around for those and hit the subscribe button if you do catch them. If you like this video, hit the like button. And we'll see you in the future. Adios. Yeah.